Welcome back to the Happy Camper, coming to you from the beautiful mountains of southwest Montana. Today we're taking a look at a beautiful new floor plan from Heartland RVs in their Bighorn series. This is the 2020 model 3995 front kitchen or FK. This unit is extremely unique. It is an industry standard. And it exceeds anything else on the market in this particular layout. It does have a great kitchen. It has an outstanding living room, as well as a very roomy bedroom bathroom. We are filming here on location at uh, our sponsor's dealership today, Rocky Mountain RV. And so we'd like to thank them for allowing us to come out here and cherry pick their inventory so we can show this stuff to you out there in YouTube land. Uh, and again, you know, these guys, they're, they're just all around good people. Uh, Montana-based company. It's family owned for over 40 years. We really appreciate any time that it makes sense for you. Just, just look them up and help support our sponsors. So we're going to start here on the uh, in the living room, and we'll work, work our way up towards the uh, the kitchen, as that's the unique portion of this unit. And that's what most people are going to want to see. I do want to go through the technical data right here at the at the start of the video, so we can get uh, all of that out of the way. So, like I say, this is a uh, a 2020 Bighorn 3995 FK. Uh, the unit does measure overall length of 42 feet 10 inches, and that's a total overall length. They're going to call this a 39-foot model, like most, but again, this is on the big platform out of Bighorn, so it's going to be that that full-size, almost 43-foot fifth wheel. This is, uh, this is a good size unit, uh, about as big as what you're going to see on the market. It gives you a lot of living space. Uh, beyond that, the unit does have a dry weight of... Uh, 14,141 pounds. It has a hitch weight of 2,907 pounds and a GVW of 16,500 pounds. We do carry 65 gallons of fresh water as well as 90 gallons on the gray, 90 gallons on the black water heater, and this is a 12 gallon model. It is going to run two air conditioners, uh, you know, in a big single awning outside. So that'll give you the, a little bit of the technical data on here. Uh, the, I was just talking with a gentleman who walked in here just as I was getting ready to do the video, and he was asking, uh, can you put this on a one ton single rear wheel? pick up and uh, and the answer to that is in uh, most circumstances yes you will have both the payload capability in the back of the truck uh, my particular truck is a 2017 Ford F350 single rear wheels and uh, it's got a 22,500 pound towing capacity and a 5,400 in, uh, pound in 5,400 in bed uh, pound rating for the box. So again, the 2900 up on the nose of this, this unit's going to be, you know, you're going to get up into that 15 to 16,000 pound range by the time you get it loaded up down the road, but you are going to be in the, uh, the tow rating for most one ton diesel pickups with a uh, single rear wheel. You do not have to go to duels on this particular unit in most circumstances. Again, just check the tow ratings and uh, and things on your particular vehicle, but uh, you know, it's it's going to fall inside of that for most cases. Uh, a lot of people ask you, can you do it with gas? And, and the answer to that is you could. It's not going to do it well, uh, but you can definitely do it uh, with a gas engine as long as you're a one ton running gear on your pickup. Uh, diesel is just going to be a much better option. So let's take a look uh, through the unit here. We'll, we'll start here at the doorway, and I'm just going to wrap around the front of the unit. Like I said, we'll start with the kitchen, because that's what most people are going to want to see straight out of the gate. So coming in the entry door, we're going to walk directly into the living room. To our right here is going to be the stairway up to the front kitchen. Very interesting. It's up here on this elevated platform, of course. And what you're going to see, I'm going to start up here in the front off-door corner, is a bunch of extra cabinetry. Like, like everything with Bighorn, you're going to see actual real wood cabinets, real wood styles, solid surface countertops. This is a this is a true residential coach. It is warranted for full-time live-in use, which you're not going to see out of every company out there, and especially every product line out there. You're going to see a lot of them will void your warranty if you try to spend, you know, your 6-month stay down in Arizona in this unit or if you decide, you know, you're just going to set it up on your lake property and that's where you're going to live they're going to try to void your warranty for that. So Bighorn and Heartland do not do this on the residential style coaches, which are going to be Bighorn, Landmark, and Cyclone. Uh, I believe Road Warrior is lumped in there as well. But uh, nonetheless, this unit is warranted for that and is designed for that. So of course, full ball bearing uh, extension roller guides over here on all of the drawers. This has got a really nice uh, 
graywood look in it there. That does have a very tight travel catch on it, and those do wear in with a little bit of use, but you can see that those are, of course, dovetailed plywood boxes, plywood bases, uh, all real wood, full extension ball bearing roller guide. So it's gonna be a very nice quality cabinet. And then we're gonna, of course, look at the solid surface countertops that are standard throughout the unit. And that is a full um, solid surface product. This isn't a, a thermal wrapped or pressed or anything else. It is an actual solid surface. And you can see it here on the sink covers. Uh, another unique thing about this particular unit is they do put the sink up here against the front wall. And then we do have the automotive style windshield right out the front. You can see we have kind of a bluebird beautiful day out there. Look at the look at the view from this dealership. Look at these, what these guys get to look at every day. Isn't that something? So of course uh, we're gonna have the big giant stainless um, big bowl on one side, smaller bowl on the other, residential style sink, large gooseneck faucet with the sink lever of course, the sink covers to complete the front counter section so you can get this all flattened off. We do of course have uh, USB as well as, uh, as as well as electrical outlets on both sides. You got kind of a you know spot on each side. You could do toaster, coffee station, that type of thing. Really going to work out pretty well. Uh, good drawers and cabinets down here below the sink as well. You can kind of see that you get a nice big amount of storage in these, and that is a just an absolutely giant drawer. You can see they do have the uh, water filter f uh, cartridge in there as well, and that is ready for your use little overhead cabinet up over here. As we come back down the door side wall, you're gonna see kind of your uh, microwave, your cooking station over here. This is gonna run the stainless steel Furion inset gas oven, and that's gonna be the lower that does have the window in it, and of course it is, uh, it is a regular oven. And then up above we do have the stainless um, Furion cooktop with the three burner, and this has that, uh, that cast iron style um, great on it up here so so that gives it a very nice residential look we do have a nice backsplash in behind there and a window porthole window coming into the kitchen and then just immediately to the right here is going to be our high point uh, stainless steel residential microwave and that is a residential microwave slash convection oven so you can do kind of both things with that particular unit uh, and, and that's what you would expect in a trim level like this a little little storage up above here and then nice big storage down below as well this is a slide out on the door side, so this this little item here is in a is in a slide out, and that is the only slide up here in the kitchen. As we wrap around back through the kitchen here, you're going to see your uh, your uh, dining station kind of, if you will, here. The unique thing about this chair is it doesn't have a, a dedicated dining table. This is set up for a couple to sit here. You do have, of course, um, electrical outlets as well as nice countertop space. Uh, and, and you know you can use this for a lot of different things. If, you, if you'd like to eat in the living room, a lot of people do, you can do that and use this for a workspace. You can do kind of a lot of whatever you want with this particular unit. What I will say is it does have great windows up here, gives you a lot of natural light, as well as some nice cabinets for storage. The unique thing about this particular unit from Bighorn versus some of the others that are on the market is right here. This is the Norcold Polar Max, and this is an 18 cubic foot gas electric absorption refrigerator. Uh, most of the units on the market that run a front kitchen, and actually most of the units that are in this trim level period, are going to be standard with an electric only residential style refrigerator. That refrigerator is cheaper to put in. It is slightly bigger than what a gas electric will be, but it does limit you to not being able to go off grid. So that that is a, a disadvantage in my opinion as far as where I live and the, the way that people use the units out here where I'm at. This is what I would want, and this is the way that, of course, Rocky Mountain orders their units. You can get a residential fridge in this model, but they still stock their models with the gas electric. Uh, that being said, of course, this will work uh, plugged into electricity. You still get the gas absorption system. This is an absolutely massive refrigerator. And that portion of it is kind of giving us a, a little bit of of a uh, learning curve here in the RV industry because this particular fridge uh, works better on electricity than it does on gas, which is absolutely the opposite of what a gas absorption system has always been. But you can see it is a massive refrigerator. On the electric side, it does have two electric elements that help, uh, help with the circulation on the ammonia absorption system on the back. It does, of course, have just a single gas burner. So 
That being said, the best way that this fridge is used is to get it down to good cold temperatures before you leave on electricity. Get all your food in. If you put cold food in, it always helps rather than trying to cool it from scratch. And then of course, switch over to gas you know, as you, as you get out away from, away from your electrical grid. So that would be my suggestion on this. It is one of those things that the fridge works fine. There isn't an issue with it, but it is a very large system for absorption. And on that gas function, we just need to make sure that we're using some good common sense and helping that fridge uh, stay cold. I had a, had a customer a long time ago when these fridges first came out, took an entire case of Otter Pops and put them in the freezer and were uh, very surprised that they weren't frozen after a, a short four hours on the gas side. And I said, ma'am, you can leave those in there for four days. You'll never get them to freeze. So you do want to have that stuff frozen and cold before you put it in this fridge, if at all possible. That's uh, one of those things, or of course, do it in smaller quantities. So it's just one of those things that you got you to gotta know about these refrigerators. Uh, they, they're still what I would do personally. Everybody has their own option. With a front kitchen, very few actually even give you the option. Most are going to have electric only, and then you're kind of just stuck with that. So that's, that's a personal preference thing, but with gas electric, you're always covered. Covered. It always works on electricity and it will work on gas as well with a with a residential style You're not getting that gas function. Let's step down here into the living room and take a look around very unique setup that they did here uh, slide outs on both sides of this living room and we have a, uh, a high to bed sleeper sofa I'm gonna pan over here so you can see that in both sides So you're gonna have one here one right over here behind me and then of course an electric um, recline theater seat here against the kitchen wall and that's going to be heat massage um, power recline very nice that's out of that thomas Paine collection we've looked at that stuff before they did a nice job with it it um, it, it will be a, a good setup we do have both cup holders in the armrest as well as a little uh, little shelf there towards the end this unit will of course provide you two additional beds with the sleeper sofas on either side so that is another advantage if you do have that you know kids that come with you once in a while grandkids that come out and want to stay with uh, with you every now and then you do have the capability of doing that so it does give you that option uh over here against the kind of the back wall of the of the um living room we do have our very large 40 inch fury on fireplace and of course that is going to give you electric heat as well as the fireplace effect it looks very nice in there but it does also heat the coach and when run in conjunction with our overhead ceiling fan right up here that will uh, make quite a difference in the heating in your unit as well. Of course, you're going to have uh, gas forced air heat in here, and that's the register you're seeing on the floor right there, just forward of the fireplace. But again, with a, with an airspace this size, if you can give that a little help with your electric fireplace in the in the times that you have um, electricity available, it will definitely decrease your propane consumption drastically. You'll also see, of course, a 4K Ultra HD TV, and that's getting to be pretty standard these days, but they do they do kind of go all the way with it. Uh, make sure you get the nicest stuff out there. We do have also the uh, Jensen home theater system. A little overhead uh, storage up above for DVDs or books or whatever you want to put up there. Our slide outs, you do see the fascias are lighted here, which is a nice little feature. It gives you kind of a, a low light um, in the evening. You wouldn't be quite so bright in here. You turn the fascia lights on on the slide outs. Uh, we do also have the MDC roller shades. These are um, a, a double system. So we have this kind of uh, see-through partial shade. Lets some light in, doesn't give you a, a ton of brightness also does block the view from outside and then we do have of course the secondary roll down and that's going to that's going to block out the light completely so it's a pretty nice little feature uh, you know again everything in the unit is designed to be just that next level of quality as we walk down here towards the uh, the back of the unit i'm going to come back to the bathroom as i'm walking by it right now but uh, I'm gonna show you the bedroom first. The bedroom in this model, uh, again, I, I really like a, a rear bedroom if it's got enough windows to actually make it bright and uh, and something you don't have to come in and turn a light on every time you feel like you're, you're standing in a cave. Uh, again, we got slide outs on both sides, which is what really opens this up. So we got a slide out over here that the bed's in, as well as on this side, our wardrobe slides out. And this is gonna give us just a ton back up here so I can pan this a ton of uh, drawers down here at the bottom hanging cabinets on each side storage cabinets below of course TVs mounted in that as well for your bedroom TV you are uh, right behind me here there's another set of storage cabinets and that is going to be 
plumbed and prepped for washer dryer right over here on the back of the bed. If you don't have washer dryer in there, there is an overhead cabinet as well. If you're not running a washer dryer, that is simply storage uh, and it is a big storage area. Uh, right over here at the head of the bed, of course, we do have additional cabinets up there also. We have ventilation windows on all three sides of the bed, the head of the bed, as well as the big window here at the back that makes ventilation also. You can see the unit is uh, optioned with the Dyson handheld vacuum. Very nice feature. I have one of these myself. I really, really like it. It's easy to get, get into places. I actually take it out, use it to vacuum my pontoon boat in the summertime, uh, my fishing boat, that kind of thing. It's always nice to have that rather than the built-in little dirt devil you know, that a lot of companies use with the, uh, the connected hoses and that type of thing. Uh, up overhead here in the bedroom, one quick thing I want to talk about is you can see that, uh, that Bighorn runs a dual ducted air conditioning system. And then that little return right there and right there are your air conditioning returns. This is a, a dual uh, AC unit, so it's got two air conditioning units on it, and they use these split returns here to quiet down that air noise. Anybody that's owned an RV and used the AC in it much knows how noisy AC can be. So by putting the dual duct all the way down the ceiling, front to back, and then adding in the two 15,000 BTU air conditioners with these split returns, we're quieting that system down as absolutely much as humanly possible for a roof mount air, air, uh, air conditioning system. So that is a nice feature again that you're gonna see in Bighorn. They're gonna be crimped in other, other models and other units that you see. Of course, everything in here is LED lighting. I didn't mention that, but it's getting to be pretty standard these days. Uh, and it, of course it is standard in, in all Bighorn models. Uh, in the bathroom here, not the biggest bathroom I've ever seen in, in, a, in a Bighorn fifth wheel, but it is workable. It, there's plenty of room here to make this make this happen. So we do have, of course, the uh, Dometic porcelain toilet there. Um, I take that back. That appears to be a Thetford porcelain toilet. Uh, nonetheless, porcelain, uh, porcelain bowl there. So that's what you'd expect in this trim level. The shower is a seamless one piece fiberglass insert unit with the built in seat and shelves and, uh, you know, little towel hooks there. And then of course your adjustable shower heads and that type of thing over here. Up over the top of the shower, we do have the porthole window, which is gonna add a ton of natural light. And then up above that, we have an additional skylight, which is a little hard to show, but it is up there. You do also have a light in that skylight uh, up over the shower if you are, you know, obviously in here at night. So that gives you a lot of features there and a lot of options in this bathroom. In the very top up there, you're gonna see a fantastic fan, exhaust fan, and that's just gonna help you keep the moisture out of here. Gonna be a, a nice feature as well. Uh, the sink here is is going to be a seamless countertop with the uh, molded in sink. So that's not an undermount, but it is a molded in. And then you're gonna have the uh, small gooseneck, uh, kind of black finished faucet, which is a nice look in here. Under storage, as well as medic medicine cabinet over storage in here. And like I said, it's, it's not the biggest RV bathroom I've ever seen, but it is definitely workable. And um, you know, it, they made it to where it would be functional in a unit this size. So, Coming back up here towards the uh, the main floor, we're gonna go ahead and step outside and, and I'm gonna apologize in advance for the uh, for the uh, the noise. We're right up here, like I said, we're at Rocky Mountain today, so we're up on the street doing the video. Gonna get a little bit of traffic noise. It looks like they've got quite the string of vehicles out here, so we might run into a customer or two. If we do, we'll just say hello and keep moving on with the video. So let's step outside and take a walk around the Bighorn and we'll get a, a, a nice exterior view. And it is one of those bluebird days here in southwest Montana. You really just can't beat the view out of their dealership. It is absolutely unbelievable. The sunshine's feeling great. I know we got a lot of a lot of weird things going on in the country right now. A lot of people really worried, but it's it's nice to be in Montana. It's nice to feel the sun on your shoulders. So I'm not going to complain, and we'll keep moving on and bringing you content the best that we can. So right there is the exterior shot on that 3995 front kitchen. It is a good-looking unit from the outside. I've expressed this in the past. I really like a white exterior. I think it's a very classic look. I think it's timeless. I also think it holds up so much better than things that have color, especially dark color. We've seen so much fading and... Uh, and uh, delamination issues and that kind of thing with with uh, dark sided units. So I'm glad to see them coming back to white. They put a lot of the dark paint accents on it 
to give it some definition and that does look good on this unit uh, so let's get walk up here a little closer we'll get to uh, get the rest of the features on it as we come around you're going to see that front uh, windshield up there on the unit it does have a very distinctive look it's very interesting uh, of course the front molded fiberglass cap everything there is actual paint that you're looking at the side walls will be a vinyl decal but the front cap is paint um, and it's a high gloss gel coat si uh, siding on it instead of a phylon you're going to see, of course, that it does sport the uh, LCI level up. This is a six-post hydraulic leveling system. It's exactly what you would expect to see on this particular unit at this trim level. And, of course, at this, this weight class, it's definitely going to need the hydraulic system. The electrics just aren't going to cut it here. So as we step here down the door side, you're going to see the... Uh, the belly storage and that does run all the way across it's lighted it's completely finished uh, up here on the top as well as the sides and down on the flooring here and this is kind of a stain resistant um, exterior type flooring that they put in here it's a nice it's a nice feature the one thing you do see is that this is an extra tall storage uh, compartment here because it this is the um, the space saver chassis where they drop the frame rails down on the front so we can get a flat floor up here in the uh, in the storage compartment so it gives it a lot of uh, a lot of nice features and a lot of cubic feet in there of course we are going to see the extra thick baggage doors here with the full metal slam latches and these are of course high gloss gel coat on the exterior of them as well this one is running the step above more ride step system that comes down directly to the ground gives you that positive feeling there's no flex in it it seems like it's a little bit easier transition step to step to step coming up than a than a coach mounted or a frame mounted type of step so we like it everybody seemed to be very happy with it it's it's uh, doing pretty well in the market so this unit of course does have that system you can see of course that this does run the uh, limited three-year structural warranty from heartland uh, that is something that that a few of the thor companies have done in the last few years you're going to get 12 months from date of purchase on your you, you kind of your all day everyday little things cabinet doors and latches and appliances and that type of thing but if you ever had a major issue uh, a frame a wall structure a floor structure a roof structure that gave you issues you do have an additional two years protection on that it is fairly limited on that warranty but it is out there and they do they do want to make sure to, to tell you if you have a major issue with your unit we, we're here to take care of you and that's something that heartland has stood for for a very very long time i've been involved with heartland and bighorn since they have been incepted into the into the industry in 2004 um, i've been involved in in selling them ever since then and uh, they are a very nice nice very well built coach and uh, the people at heartland carry this product on their backs is this is their one of their flagships and they just love it out there uh, so you can see also that we do have the weather guard system and that's going to be just your enclosed heated underbelly everything's going to be heated everything's going to be insulated you are going to have uh, heat um, the, the little heat pads on the tanks as well as the uh, the fresh line is going to be um, wrapped so you're, you're a step further than most people are even going to call like a four season coach this is a couple steps beyond that even uh, and and again in Montana we're still going to say three seasons that's what you're going to get here 40 below you're still going to have water issues with a unit like this unless you have it skirted and kind of do that whole thing but uh, like i said it is the best that's on the market as far as that goes you're going to see asdell panels were used on this as well and the thing with that is behind the fiberglass here behind the siding you're going to you're going to have a backer and, and in a lot of products that's going to be a wood backer where this is asdell it's a composite material there's nothing to rot or delaminate or leak so that's that's kind of where that asdell panel comes in um we do, of course, have the large entry handle as well as up above the door there. You can see a little porch light, and then we do have the LED strip that runs the full length of the awning. But you're going to have a porch light, too, so when the, when the awning is retracted, you still have light out here above your steps. Coming down the door side, you're going to see the uh, uh, aluminum alloy wheels. They are going to run 16-inch rubber. Um, I believe that these are G-rate tires, and then um, you know eight lug axles. You're going to see they run the little uh, spring equalizer in there, uh, the fancy spring equalizer. A lot of people go real crazy over that. It, it's a nice feature, but I don't, you know, I don't know that it does all that much. I've seen a lot of. Uh, a lot of units i've towed a lot of units with it without it i can't tell a lot of difference but you know like i said it is there it's a feature they're doing um, and it is a nice feature back here underneath you're going to see the spare tire is hanging in the little rack down below that tire is going to be a little bit easier to get out than a, uh, a winch type system you usually have a little less trouble with that so there's where your spare hangs you can see that most of your slide outs here are going to run the um, the hydraulic rack and pinion systems in them and that's for these big slide outs um, and that's going to be under kind of 
all of your sides here. And then you can see that orange tubing up there. If you can see that is your hydraulic lines. So they do a nice job with Bighorn. Like I said, it is it is one of their flagships. They spend a lot of time in R&D on these units. Uh, this unit does have, of course, a rear ladder. And I always encourage people to stay off the roof of your trailer if at all possible. Too many, uh, too many instances of, of damaging a roof by getting you know, rocks in your boots or that type of thing, or getting up there with some snow on the roof and falling off and breaking a hip, which I have seen three times in my career. So if you can stay off that roof, it's a good idea. Uh, up here on the back, you're going to see the Fury on backup camera prep. It's not standard on the unit, but um, the camera is not, but it is prep standard. So it can be installed at your dealership very, very easily. We do have the two inch uh, rear receiver, and this is going to be an accessory receiver. They're not rating this for towing. So keep that in mind. It is simply meant to take a uh, rear storage rack or a bicycle rack or that type of thing. But it is there. It is welded right into the frame straight out of the factory from Heartland. You're going to see some uh, storage here on the off door side. And this is going to be underneath the head of the bed. Uh, so we do have some exterior extra storage. 12 gallon water here like we talked about inside. That is gas electric of course. And this is going to run a 50 amp power cord system of course. Because it is not only wired for two ACs. It has two ACs. Uh, and a unit this size needs two ACs. That's the other side. If you're looking at a unit this size and it only has one AC on it, you better figure you're going to put a second on it. So figure that expense in if you're any place that is... Uh, is warmer than about uh, 75 degrees, you're gonna want a second AC. On the off-door side here, this is gonna be your, your off-door access into the, uh, into the storage compartment. And then in here is your docking center. And this is your central docking center for all your water hookups, power, cable, um, satellite connections are gonna be here. And of course, there's your water filter that does all of the main, uh, the main water system. Winterized valves are here as well. So lots and lots going on in that little compartment. Uh, sewer hose hangs down here. You'll notice that it didn't have a rear bumper on this unit. So the sewer hose hangs down here in the tube underneath the frame. And then you will have a propane tank on each side of the unit. They split them side to side because they can mount them on the outside of the, pro or the, outside of the frame. And one tank fits kind of nicely tucked in there behind the front jack. So in a nutshell, that is our, uh, our 2020 Bighorn 3995 front kitchen. Once again, coming to you from beautiful Butte, Montana. If you want to see this or any other unit, I will link to this unit on their website. Their website is rockymtnrv.com. We really appreciate you stopping by to take a look. If you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help the channel out greatly. Have a great day, and happy camping.